2017. Elder Dallin H. Oaks, soon to be in the First Presidency, he would be sitting where only one chair, one heartbeat away from the same position President Nelson now has. He quoted our colleague, Elder Neil A. Maxwell, who had said, and I quote, In a way, Latter-day Saint scholars at BYU and elsewhere are, are a little bit like the builders of the temple in Nauvoo, who worked with a trowel in one hand and a musket in the other. Today, scholars building the temple of learning must also pause on occasion to defend the kingdom. Must also pause on occasion to defend the kingdom. Must also pause on occasion to defend the kingdom. I personally think, Elder Maxwell went on to say, this is one of the reasons the Lord established and maintains this university. The dual role of builder and defender is unique and ongoing. I am grateful we have scholars today who can handle, as it were, both trowel and musket. Then Elder Oaks said challengingly, I'd like to hear a little more musket fire from the Temple of Learning. He said this in a way that could have applied to a host of topics in various departments, but the one he specifically mentioned was the doctrine of the family and defending marriage as the union of a man and a woman. Little did he know that while many would hear his appeal, especially the School of Family Life, who moved quickly and visibly to assist, some others fired their muskets all right, but unfortunately didn't always aim at those hostile to the Church. We thought a couple of stray rounds even went north of the point of the mountain. My beloved brothers and sisters, a house divided against itself cannot stand. As near as I can tell, Christ never once withheld His love from anyone. But He also never once said to anyone, Because I love you, you are exempt from keeping my commandments. We're tasked with trying to strike that same sensitive, demanding balance in our lives. Musket fire? Yes. We will always need defenders of the faith. But friendly fire is a tragedy. And from time to time, the Church, its leaders, and some of our colleagues within the university community have taken such fire on this campus. And sometimes it isn't friendly. Wounding students and the parents of students, so many who are confused about what so much recent flag-waving and parade-holding on this issue means. My brethren have made the case for the metaphor of musket fire, which I have endorsed yet again today. There will continue to be those who oppose our teachings, and that will continue the need to define, document, and defend the faith. But we all look forward to the day when we can beat our swords into plowshares and our spears into pruning hooks. And at least on this subject, learn war no more. <laughs>